Hello everybody, welcome back to the modded character showcase. We are back once more, and I know I did him recently, but Boom just got his tainted version released just a few days ago, and I told the developer that I'd check it out, and I definitely want to. I've had a little read over how this character works, so I'm excited. Of course, Boom being a troll bomb, of course. This character's pretty tough. We saw we played Boom in the last episode. It did get nerfed after my episode went out. The developer definitely saw some of the overpowered stuff. Still a very strong character, but this character, a little bit different. Essentially, we have the same sort of setup as before, except we don't have explosion immunity from anything other than our own explosions, I believe. Um, and on top of that, we have a timer constantly ticking down that is going to lead to our demise. We start with the remote detonator and matchstick. In every room that is not cleared, there's a timer that ticks down. And when that timer reaches zero, boom, explodes and loses one heart. After that time, uh, after the timer resets, it ticks down again until you clear the room. Each enemy will give you one second back and a champion will give you five seconds and a boss will give you 20 seconds. The timer does depend on the room size bigger the room, the more time you have. Uh, you have more time in boss, boss rooms, challenge rooms, and chest and dark room floors. Um, he has all the abilities of Boom, except for that bomb immunity, of course. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just see how this goes. And I reckon this is gonna be pretty tough. I reckon this is gonna be pretty tough. Um, this character does, of course, have some power with him. Great start. Great start. Immediately get a mimic. So. We don't, we don't have to use bombs all the time, because we've got, we got to remember we have this ability. Also, that's kind of nutty. Why is that not... Oh, I was like, why is it not exploding? And then I realized we've got remote detonator. That's kind of an interesting setup for this guy, actually. Um, having remote detonator to detonate the, uh, the bombs that get created when we kill an enemy, which is pretty interesting. So we can see that timer down there in the bottom, um, leaving us with a little bit of time left. Of course, we still do explode on contact. And that's a pretty good way of setting ourselves up, to be honest, because we can uh, utilize that um, ability to run into enemies. And instead of taking one full heart of damage, we'll take half a heart of damage, which is pretty nice. Um, so we can we can kind of utilize that if our timer starts to get low. One thing I, I would like to see, um, if plausible, uh, from the developer here um, is moving the timer to the top right or the top of the screen somewhere because I'm kind of losing track of it. It does have partially to do with the fact that my microphone arm sits exactly in front of where that timer is. So that's uh, making things slightly more difficult for myself and it's mainly a request just, just for me. But generally, uh, that would be kind of a nice change overall because I think your eyes are more drawn to the minimap and stuff. So having it nearer to the minimap. Also, better doors got updated and you can see the animation some of these doors is actually really, really nice. Um, so we'll try and do that. Yes, that was very, very nice. Of course, we have plenty of time on most of these early rooms. It's when we get later game that we start seeing some trouble, um, start to ensue. But we'll see what we can do. Um, we don't need to go to the downpour. We don't have any hearts available on this floor. And we didn't have a donation machine to bomb, so we'll just get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit, like, a little bit over to the side. So I apologize if my, uh, microphone isn't picking everything up, because I'm... <laughs> Sitting a little bit further away from my mic than normal, just to make sure I can see this timer here. We've got seven seconds remaining. It does get red as we uh, get lower and lower. I'm hoping we can fill this burn heart before um, before we have to end up using it. Damn it, that didn't actually kill that guy, but we got that going. So one second per enemy isn't actually that much. In some rooms, that's going to be really advantageous. But in a lot of rooms, I don't think that's really going to be enough to do much. I think Companion Cube is actually a very, very good item for us here. Because it's stunning enemies and dealing decent damage. Uh, it's going to help us out quite a lot. I'm going to probably refrain from using bombs too much. Just because we've got that chance to uh, plant a bomb when we kill an enemy. Of course, that is the main thing that was changed with this character. The, the chances for a bomb on killing enemy was nerfed pretty heavily. And rightfully so. Um, I think it's put the character in a much better spot. But yeah, like... We're, we're going to be immune to our own explosions, but these guys were definitely not. Okay, we're actually going to bugger this one up if we're not careful. That guy's a champion, so he gives us more health back. Nice. But yeah, we are going to have to actually use some of our bombs, if possible, too. Do you remember we are going to get um, troll bombs back from the safety scissors sort of thing? We don't have to worry about that so much. Right, good, good. We're just looking for a key now to get into our item room. Luckily, the timer isn't active um, outside of combat, so we... Don't have to worry about that. That's something I'm very grateful of, actually. Uh, that would have been a huge pain if that was the case. I was hoping I could get another enemy in there, but not quite. 
18 seconds. These bigger rooms really aren't that bad at all. We've got to remember, we, we, we have to use our own, um, we have to use our own, like, space bar to, to, to set off the explosions. I can't, I can't be forgetting that. Right. We do have some hearts about. We might want to play the sack room a little bit here, you know? This is a room that, that, to me, seems pretty difficult. We're on three seconds remaining. Okay, we just about did that. Still no key, unfortunately. We still, have, still do have a few rooms yet, though. Yeah, these are the rooms to me that seem pretty tough. You got like seven seconds to do everything in the room. Basically, I, I, all I need to see is the timer when we enter. The rest is kind of irrelevant. Just basically to know, to, to need to know if I actually have to bomb an enemy when we're in here. Come on, key. Where are you? Rooms like this, however, are going to be easy breezy. Easy breezy. We're not going to get a key, are we? Nope, we most certainly are not. Get could. Damn it. Enemy ran right into me. Oh, that, that's the one charge guy. Okay. It's fine by me. Got 33 seconds. Plenty of time. But I like this, this sense of having to rush a little bit. It's good. And, by the way, the chance to get a bomb on killing enemy seems way, way more balanced. So... Uh, Big congrats on that. I'm going to check out the devil deal here. Um, increase or decrease your luck by random amounts and walking into a new room. Black tooth. Heartbreak. I think heartbreak is actually a pretty good one for us to grab, you know. Three broken hearts is kind of a heavy cost, but it puts us in a good position for later on. Uh, let's maybe try and find the secret room here and get into there. Ooh, 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 ooh. did not see that earlier. Oh, wait. I just had to test there to see if I, if, it, if my own explosions did hurt me. Maybe I misread that. Let me go and have a check. I must have, I must have got that the wrong way around. I do, I do want to make sure I'm right on that. Um, you have... Uh, Tainted Boom has all the abilities of Boom except one. He doesn't have immunity to explosive damage, but he is immune to his own explosions when touching enemies. Okay. Only when touching enemies. Good to know. Oh my lord. What is... It's fucking... Bowser's big bean, bean burrito. The crawl space. Do you know what? No. I don't even want Bumble. Bumble's a bag of trash. <laughs> he leaves slowing creep everywhere and it always gets it always gets me in trouble. So I'm just going to say no. But this is a Bowser's big bean burrito if I've ever seen one in my life. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and play some Super Mario Maker. Right. Oh, we got another Tinted Rock here. Oh my god, I forgot again. Immediately forgot. Oh, that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. That's going to take a little bit of getting used to. That's not good. Right. Um, We do have a key now, though. We do have a key. God damn. I'm a bit, a bit of a stupid, me, aren't I? A bit of a stupid. Anyhow, we've sacrificed a lot of our HP for no reason. Chili bean, an item that is completely worthless to us. Glad I came back for that. Chili bean is bad at the worst, at the best of times, and we have at the best, best and worst of times. I'll be honest, and we already have an active item that's integral to our build. So <laughs> I guess we'll be on our way. Uh, we don't start with enigma bombs this time, which is something a little bit interesting about this character. Uh, no enigma bombs for us. That could could end up being problematic, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm like, yeah, I'm liking these new doors from the Better Doors mod. It hasn't been updated in a long time, but it's nice to see some uh, some changes to that because they do look very good. Unfortunately, no downpour for us this time, but we'll keep on pushing on. Uh, keep on pushing on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's actually a pretty good bomb there. Ooh, ooh. Eight seconds, we're good, we're good. Yeah, it's all about how much time we have on, upon entering the room. Like, a room like this, we've got plenty of time. Boom, I love that. I love being able to, like, blow up the bomb immediately upon it spawning. It makes it so much more valuable. I'm imagining that's one of the main reasons we start with Remote Detonator. Now, this is a room that's a little harder. There you go. Just because those enemies are dashing and diving around all over the place. Remember, we've got bigger tiers, but we don't actually have more damage. 
It's a trap you can easily fall into with uh, Tropica Maya or, or Tropicana, whatever you want to call it. Nice, an extra bomb. The more bombs we can get, the better as well. We just want them as like backup in case we have an unlucky streak. I'll, I'll take a pill. Laxative. For some reason, laxative didn't work there. I'm not quite sure why that is. Repentance Plus did just update, so possibly it got broken in the update. Rooms like this are a nightmare. It didn't... Oh, my God. Didn't even get the uh, thing I was intended to get with that. Ooh, Eden's Blessing, a nice tears up, and going to improve our next run as well. The tears up, obviously, is all that matters right now, though. This is a very tough room. Okay, we did it. Range down. We don't, we're not really that bothered about range down, considering our range is actually pretty good anyways. Now, these rooms are hellish. Yeah, this is a room we're taking damage on, and there's literally nothing we can do to avoid it. So one thing, one thing that's probably going to be slightly problematic is modded rooms and modded enemies aren't going to be accounted for, nor should they be, uh, which is going to probably create some issues for us. Going to probably create some issues for us, I'd think. Because the game's going to think that we need less time than we actually do for certain rooms. It's not going to happen super often, I wouldn't imagine. Nice, managed to bomb that rock there to get you. Hopefully we can get some HP out of this. Hey, that's a lot of HP. It's a lot of HP. Right, I think we just go down into our item room. Yep, just keep going. This is a room where I just want to see if I can beat Boom. I don't mind about playing most optimally or whatnot. I just want to see if we can beat him. He seems like a really fun character to try and beat. And it basically, it takes the overpoweredness of Boom and gives it some context. Like, Boom being really overpowered is fine if you just want a really overpowered run. But if you're actually trying to have sort of a good, sort of normal, fun run, he's a little too overpowered, um, at least for my liking. Um, so, having... Um, I probably should have kept that rotten heart thinking about it. Um, but having this extra context of, like, having to be fast and uh, having to sort of think at every step about what we're doing really adds a lot of tension and a lot more reason to the power that he beholds, which is, I think, a very, very good design choice for the Tainted Variant. And I think, actually, in that case, I'd probably end up playing Tainted, um, the Tainted version a little more often. Are you serious? Can I not open this without hitting spikes? Don't even want that. It's so annoying. Yeah, I think I'd actually probably more likely play this version of the character more often. Just because it's got a little bit more of a twist, a little bit more of a reason to have that power he has. Ooh, bombs leave a trail of creep. Bombs leave a cloud. Oh, that sounds very useful for us right now. I doubt that'll affect the bombs that are placed on the floor when killing enemies. But well, even just for just our personal uh, ones, getting um, some shielded shots in there and all that sort of good stuff is going to be pretty nice. Honestly, Companion Cube is absolutely killing it right now. Oh, no way. It did. No way. With Remote Detonator. It never stops firing. We just found an absolutely busted synergy. So now, whenever an enemy drops one of those, it's just going to constantly produce slow-moving shielded tears that surround the bomb and cover the room. That's incredible. Now, not not great for our frame rate, I'll, I'll admit. But look at that. I didn't think it'd synergize with the bombs that spawn off killing enemies, but the fact that it does is... Uh, it's going to save our behind right now. And this is yet another thing with uh, modded characters, especially tainted ones that have some sort of challenge associated. There's always going to be these uh, quirky and weird breaks. I mean, we had one with uh, tainted um, Mastema where we, we got uh, the Abyss item that just broke that character wide open. But um, it's going to happen from time to time. Uh, but it's, it's funny. It's interesting. I think it's cool that you can get some of these weird but quirky game breaks that end up like actually doing you a really good solid and we can just kind of sit that around and because it's shielded tears as well like it's really gonna it's really gonna do some good for us 
We can just kind of leave them to, to do some extra damage for us. And be pretty damn happy with it. Like I said, it's probably going to create a pretty, pretty heavy amount of lag for us. Um, this is probably a synergy that wasn't intended by the bath bombs when they were created, because you don't really think about remote detonator. But if it was an intended synergy, very, very much like it. I didn't think about it at all. It's kind of the creep's going to be the main source of damage, and the shielded T is the main source of defense here, but we'll see. As you can see, it's actually causing quite a lot of problems for me right now. Oh, and I hit myself with it by accident. God damn it. Uh, we did get a golden heart out of that, though. Um, bit of range upgrade there as well. Ooh. The frame rate is chunking. Frame rate is chunking. Um, rocks now have a 7.5 chance to turn fires uh, into a couple of wisps. I don't think we'll take that. I think we will take this, though. Eyeball Isle is very, very good for us. Um, yeah, I think, I, think, I think we're good with that. And we'll go down to the next floor. Health's looking a little rocky right now, but I think with our newfound synergy, while the frame rate may suffer, our power will go on. And I think uh, Eyeball Isle is going to be huge for us because it's just extra damage and herming and all that good stuff okay so this one didn't produce any tears for some reason not quite sure why but yeah getting like a bob's bladder or something would also like kick it up a notch hey another key we've been kind of desperate for those so that's good to find Oh, God. But, yeah, that's another thing about modded characters. It's all about, well, like, just challenge characters in general. It's all about finding finding ways to sort of circumvent their biggest downfalls. And we've uh, most certainly done that, if not entirely by accident. Luckily, so far, we've only had to feel the wrath of the, uh, the boom timer, the tick-tick boom, just the once, which is pretty good considering. I mean, we've got a reasonably good build now. It does seem that the uh, that the shielded tiers part of it has stopped working. Which is honestly probably okay, because now we get the creep, which is really good, and we, we don't get all the lag. I'm not quite sure why it stopped working, to be honest, but... Ah, I got boomed then, I think. I think, yeah, I think I got boomed then. Let's go back and get that heart real quick. A little bit of a shame there. I was, I was spending too long looking at those bombs, trying to get them into the right place. But yeah, now they just produce creep, which is strange, but understandable. Like, look at that. That just, yeah. They just, they're just not producing the tears anymore. Eh. Weird mod interactions are weird. Just accept them for what they are. Eight seconds. I don't know if enemies spawned by other enemies still give us time back. I'm really not sure on that. Extra Rotten Heart, I'll definitely take that. Rotten Hearts are actually proving to be incredibly useful for us right now. There you go. Thank you for the troll bomb, sir. Yeah, Aya Belial here is killing it. Doing so well for us. Oh, hello, this is an interesting room. I actually do think we should bomb that guy. We lost some health again, but we got some more health back over there. Fortunately, our rotten flies, rotten hearts, sorry, are going down like flies, sadly. They're dying pretty quick. Health is still our most major concern right now, I think. I think everything else we're feeling pretty good on. More bomb upgrades we can get will be will be even better as well if we can get a few more of them going. Get us a Bob's Bladder so we get even more poison. That'd be pretty fun. Let's see what we got here. Suplex is an interesting one, but it isn't active, so I'm going to say no to it. Um, try and reroll it into something a little bit better. Belly button. It's got potential. I think we'll take it. I think we'll take belly button. It's not the best in the world. Um, familiar tears have a chance to drop coins, and we'll take that for now. Uh, but just in case we do get a Bob's bladder or something, I'd like to be able to hold the matchstick as well. And while the matchstick isn't gulped, we can kind of now treat it as if it's gulped. We still don't have that much damage. Damage is still another one of our sort of minor complaints right now. We could get herming bombs or something. That'd be nice. Some sort of herming on our bombs would be good. Um, I will buy the soul heart. I think we need that. Keep moving on. Good amount of bombs now as well, which is always nice to see. 
this should be a pretty easy uh, set of enemies to take care of. I love those Giga Bombs. Oh, we managed to open up a... <laughs> open up a door mimic completely by accident there, which is pretty funny. Did not mean to do that, but I am uh, definitely happy with the prospect. We are going to have to go all the way around just to get this key, but I'm actually kind of willing to do it because I do want the key. But um, the Giga Bomb actually cut off our path. Health is looking much better now. That uh, that room there just actually helped out quite a lot. Right. Good. Ooh, that guy did manage to brimstone me. That's, that's fair play to you, though. That's fair play to you. And we get Book of the Dead. Unfortunately, we're getting just a lot of actives right now, which is really not what we want. Uh, remote detonator is really my jam right now. We're going to keep going. I think we're doing pretty successfully for uh, a first attempt as this Tainted Boom character. Come on, you. Only got three seconds. No. No. Okay. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> he poked his head down. Now I saw the timer. I was like, oh, no. Multi-stage enemies seem to be sort of the the good stuff. We kind of want them because they give us quite a lot more back on our timer. Oh, it's the Schwashtucker room. Haven't seen you in such a long time. I can't remember if remote detonator bombs stick in rooms after you leave. I don't think they do. I think they just, I think they just despawn. Giga bomb. Giga bomb. I do love the small chance of Giga Bombs, but yeah, I have to say, congrats to the developer, because I, fe I feel like you've really made a very fun tinted character, and what you've, like, you've done a really interesting thing as well here, you've, you've managed to make a very fun tinted character without having to make a new character, which is pretty hard to do, and you've made it, like, fun, like, it's not a cop-out, it's not a lazy solution, it's a, it's a pretty, like, subtle addition, really, to the character, but it completely changes how you have to play him, and you've not had to remake an entirely new character, because a lot of tainted characters are basically just an entirely new character. So you've not had to do that, you've kept it very much the same as Boom, the vanilla version of Boom, while actually adding a really interesting mechanic and subtly, I'm not even subtly, quite, quite drastically changing the way you have to play him, or at least um, the importance of playing him properly, should I say. Right, got a good amount of money there. Hopefully I can buy some extra HP with that. But yeah, we basically, you, you kind of have to get a good build going, otherwise you're, uh, you're going to be a bit screwed. We should always be prioritizing champions, by the way, because they give us plus five seconds. Can you can you not be over the top of something, thank you? Yeah, we, we really should be prioritizing champions if we can. Ow. Oh my god, what on earth just happened there? I couldn't keep track of those enemies at all. Like, all of them were jumping up and down and moving all over the place. This, this room's kind of a pain. We managed it though, we managed it. It looks like the shop and item room are over this way. This could be a pretty hard room. Like, the, the bosses are going to go down relatively quickly. Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. The bosses, even in, in, in non-boss rooms, still had 20 seconds. I didn't realize that was the case. The fact that that's the case makes this significantly easier than I thought it was going to be. I kind of want to... Wait. Um, that's definitely... Oh, uh, because pins multi-segment every segment adds 20 seconds. I was like, that's a bit more than 20 seconds. What's happening here? Yeah, that's why. Every segment adds 20 seconds. You might want to fix that. Because i got four minutes on the clock right now. At least I'm assuming that's what's happening. Good, good. Oh! Game! Can you absolutely sod off? What's going on? Empty page, right on it. I, I, I guess. 
Yeah, the game's been kind of unfair to us right now. We've, we've gotten a ridiculous amount of active items. I placed a bomb for you. And you still hit me. Good. Dude! I got bombed. Damn it, I lost so much health then. I am greatly perturbed right now. Greatly perturbed. Give me a sodding non-active item, please. It's getting kind of ridiculous. And an actual shop, please. I kind of wish I brought the rubber greed now. I had the opportunity. Yeah, I think um, I think EID uh, descriptions are broken for Repentance Plus right now. They're all just like super vague and basic for some reason. Okay, we do have a bomb there. That's nice. We need to be careful. I am losing a lot of health. Also, this this boss fight is actually uh, doesn't give you a lot of time. We did manage to get it done. We'll take the negative because we kind of need the damage. We'll check this out. Um. That's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Right. Let's be gone. Oh my. This is stressful, right? This is where shit kind of gets real, though. This is where things start to get really difficult for us. So we've got to kind of... Be very careful. Uh, also, Repentance Plus got an update uh, where the spiked rocks got less common and a few other things got changed and tweaked. I also tweaked the uh, the hearts myself to my liking. Like, the glitched hearts now have a little bit higher of a spawn chance than they do normally, so there used to be 1% chance to replace any heart. Now it's 5%. I actually upped it. But instead of giving you three random hearts, they now give you one random heart. They're a little more common, but they're... Um, this is... A nightmare. Yeah, stop being you, please. Oh my god. The fuck am I meant to do? S poke up your ass, you shithead. Useless, terrible enemy. Get it gone out of my game now, please. God damn, they suck. I'm sorry, but god damn, I hate them. I used to think they were so cool, and now I despise them with a burning passion. Especially when I'm on a character that I... Oh, I think this, this, this room almost killed me. I th Okay, I didn't really consider how bad the womb would be. Apparently the womb's real bad. Apparently we really have very little time to do what we need to do in the womb. Is that not it? Okay. I really need some health. I really need some health, please. That was close. There was an enemy's tear floating there. Are you kidding me? Why aren't you, why aren't you dead? <laughs> what? We got sick monster on us. That's not fair. We is so fucked, boys. I can't deal with double sig monster. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm so dead here. That's one gone at least. Time is looking good, at least. Please rob me with health, somehow. Oh, uh, we don't have any, um... Thingy left. We've actually gained an extra broken heart now, actually. Oh, uh, two. We've technically died twice. Our broken hearts are all we've got left. And, of course, we went the wrong way, because why wouldn't we? Golden pill. Please save the day. I mean, that kind of saved the day already. Hey, it's my voice. Hmm? 
Maybe stand away from the wall. It's my voice again. That was actually pretty good. We got some good stuff out of that. Got a crawl space too. And a look down. And a look up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Black market. Huzzah. To the devil deal. Hmm. I doubt that works with um with our lasers from brimstone bombs, but it'd be kind of hilarious if it did. But I guess. <laughs> Why not? Hey, that's good. Okay, that golden pill did kind of save us. Kind of brought us back from the brink there. Surprisingly so. Oh my god, that's a lot of monstros. Damn, they died fast. Alrighty then, monstros. You do you. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. Don't really know where I'm going now without mapping, I'll be honest, but... Just kind of hoping for the best. And hoping to not go the wrong way like I just did. Oh, wait, what? Did I go the wrong way? What? what just happened? I'm confused. Deeply confused. I hate this enemy so much. What screaming buttholes? What? Where the hell am I? Is this a room full of these? Are you shaking my balls right now? I don't know why the bath bomb stopped working. It's kind of sad, really. This is a nightmare room. That hit me. What? Oh my lord. Ranger. Take me the right way, please. I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. This is very confusing for me. Okay, health is definitely thin, thin, thinning again. Da -da 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 -da. Can't speak. Oh my god. Scary enemies are scary. Bad trip. Mmm. Yes. Where the fuck is the exit to this floor? I've been to every room, haven't I? I don't understand. Where am I going? This way? Somehow? No? I really don't understand where I'm meant to be going at all. This way, if I be It's here. All along it was there. Wow. We got a lot of time out of this, at least. Need health, pretty badly. Plus three luck isn't really going to cut it, but we got a soul out of it, so who am I to complain? Oh my god. That didn't, it doesn't turn off at the end of the room, why? If you do that to people, you're evil.
But that was a rotten heart. Oh, okay, I see. We've got the trinket, haven't we? I remember now. Immediately forget that I don't have explosion immunity. Immediately. Every single time. Whenever there's an opportunity for me to forget and take damage, I will do exactly that. Oh, and of course I got hit there as well. My goodness. We are one hit away from death. Oh, that one worked for some reason. Okay. Okay, we got through Mum at least. We got a half black heart, a half soul heart even. We've made it pretty far. I think we've done pretty well so far. Shoal might prove to be a little too much for me. Like, considering I don't really have that much damage either. Like, that's my real concern. I actually don't have very good stats. Mr. Boom is pretty amazing. But I still think Remote Detonator is going to save our life more often. What on earth is this? That's a lot of bombs. That's a look down pill. No thank you. Oh god. Come on, fella. Please pop your head up so I can get out of here. Thank you. My goodness. Oh, what the hell? How did I get hit then? I got some more black heart, uh, some more broken hearts going on now. Good. No soul heart, though. God damn, no soul heart. Oh, there was brimstone there. Fuck me. I didn't see it. I didn't heckin' see it. If only my bath bombs were working correctly, then I'd have the ultimate power. I'd be fine. Okay. Right. The Empress could be pretty useful. I'll take it. Right. <sighs> Doubt we're living through this one, but Empress. we'll give it a go. Okay. That didn't work as intended at all. That did hurt me and give me a broken heart, but I did make it through, so who's laughing now? I don't think there's any of these I could possibly take. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any of these I can take that would make me live any- I guess I could take this to go like that. That technically gives me a few more hits. It's 
It's a wonder I'm still alive, to be honest. Playing how I've been playing, it is a wonder. Oh, we're out of bombs, too. That's, that's, that's always fun. So I like one saving grace, that one true... A one true way of getting out of a bad situation we have now completely and utterly ran out of. That hit me? Why? How? I don't get it. This game's cruel and unusual. Give me more damage, please. 6.97 isn't enough for this floor. Oh my lord. It's the end times, people. This is the end times. Watch me get telefragged by one of these big boys. They like to do it. We know they do. What is this room? Who created this cruel, unusual jerk? I didn't even get the soul heart out of that guy. That's a rainbow heart that I can't fucking pick up. These rooms are so difficult that we're coming across right now. Yeah. Oh, I lived somehow, though. I did live somehow. Okay. Heartbreak has come in clutch somewhat. I doubt that's going to mean much in the, in the late game here, but so far it's done a good job. Oh, yeah, there you go. And we're dead. Anyways, we took a cracking good shot at that. I really do think... If the bath bombs would have worked the way that they're supposed to work and not just break, would have been a would have been a pretty good run. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. That was Tainted Boom. What a fun character. A great, great way of doing a tainted version of Boom. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.